Welcome back to my Ice Barrier Domination. We're Plat 2 at the moment, jumping straight into Ranked, trying to get to Diamond as soon as possible before this season ends. Now, we might get there today. We might get there later on. We might get there on a live. I don't know. Let's just keep going. We're going in. Ice Barrier 2.0, baby. Let's go. Nice. We win our first coin toss. We're going to go first. I saved the Rank Ops to the videos. So what happened was... I kind of didn't rank up. Not a great start in hand, to be honest. We've got Gorgeous, but we can't play. If we go Speaker and then Gorgeous, we could get a level 10, uh, which gets us Lancia out at least. Normal Summon Spellbreaker. And then Special Summon our Gorgeous from hand. He has no hand traps, so that's looking good. Unfortunately, we can't activate his effect, but we're going to go into Lancia. We could go into a straight up Baron de Fleur. First turn Baron the Fleur. Nah, we, we we need Lancia, man. I was thinking Baron the Fleur so we can negate the effects and stuff. But Lancia is going to be our first card on the field. It is what it is. We got Raiho in hand, which is also a problem. Could have been summoned through deck through, with Lancia. But we set our cord by the grave and give the opponent our turn. Again, we're up against an Asian. We've been playing a lot against these Asians. This brother's from Japan. In my previous video, I had like three out of four games against Asians in the... Whatchamacallit? Oh, Upstart Goblin, okay. We're gonna draw unlock Bird so he doesn't pull any more cards. Ooh. Goddamn, goddamn. That's not nice. So that means he is going to need his deck. Is he playing triple tactics? Okay. Two hours later. Another triple tactics. Okay. Frost for talent. And he's going to play talent. Okay. If you choose General Raiho, like if you... Yeah, there we go. Okay, cool. What are you playing? He really needed to draw cards. So he negated my effect. MST. Of course. Okay. Sky Striker. Okay. Are we in the event? What's going on? I mean, if he was going for the OTK, he could have taken control of my Lancia and then played from there, but I guess he needed the cards. So I guess we survived this turn. As long as I can get Raiho onto the field. Ah, oh, fuck. Well, that's going to bring out my... Yeah, that's going to bring out my Trishula OG. We're not going to go with Zero because he doesn't have three cards on the field. But the problem is now I have only Raiho in my hand. So we're gonna get, we're gonna banish his continuous spell. Yep. Goodbye. We're gonna banish a card from the graveyard. He doesn't really have anything. Mobilize. We'll get rid of mobilize and let's get rid of a card from his hand as well. Say goodbye to the card you need most. Ray. Ooh. And it got banished as well. Set pass. Yep. There we go. We got lucky with that banish. Let's go, OG Trish, and we get. Mirror Mage or the Ice Barrier as well into our hand, but we don't have an extra zone to play Al Mirage, which is kind of a problemo. We're still gonna play Al Mirage. Uh, let's see. Uh, not Al Mirage, we're still gonna play Mirror Mage. We're gonna tribute Trish and Mirror Mage to get Marincess and Ammoni onto the field. We're gonna activate Mirror Mage's effect. I think we get a Gorgeous into our hand so we could special summon as well. Yep. Through uh, Anemone's effect, we're going to bring back Mirror Major. Activate effect. We should win the game this turn, hopefully, if I can make it work. So what we're going to do here is we're going to go into Coral Dragon. Yep. Special Summon Gorgeous. And then bring out 6 plus 4 is another 10, so we could get Lance here again. We can't really OTK still. We're going to take down a bunch of his health. I mean, we can activate this effect because Raiho is not of any use in my hand right now. We'll get rid of his trap card. What was that? Evenly matched. Oh my god. Okay, nice. And then we go Dragite to stop him from playing any more trap cards and spell cards for next turn because we're not going to be able to end the game just yet. Activate Coral Dragon unless we pull Ice Jade. Ooh, nah. Okay. This is fine. Go to battle phase. Yep. Take down a bunch of his health. And then we will end our turn. We have revealer for next turn. So that's good. 
evenly matched to it. Yeah, nah, get, get rid of that shit. I ain't dealing with that. He had another one in his hand. Get the fuck out. Come on, play. There we go. That's what I was expecting. That's what I was expecting. Let's go. First game, easy win. We keep going. The ice barrier of domination. My name is Seto Kai Sensei. Bang, win. Oh, come on. Give me first, please. Goi Bobo. That means do what your daddy says or something in Chinese. Goi Bao Bao. Yeah, there we go. Don't know how I know. Don't ask how I know. But it's something like that. It's like Goi Bao Bao. What are we playing? We're playing punks. Oh, you guys told me about this in stream the other day. Okay, I have no idea what you guys do. I don't want to imperm this straight away. The one wants to control. Yeah, no, 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 no. I'm going to let you play. I'm going to let you play. Because I don't think this is the right... Okay, you played your cost. Yeah, I'm going to imperm now. I'm going to imperm now. Fuck your shit. That was his normal summon as well. I don't know if punks have special summons. But we might have just stopped him in his tracks already. A lot of people are playing different decks now. Like, all I was getting was Tempies when I last played. And now we're getting punks. Oh, uh, no, wait. Okay. Ah, he still gets to add. I guess this special summons itself? We're gonna draw and lock that shit. We have a beautiful hand for next turn. So the more interrupts we get in this phase. Yep, there we go. Okay. His backline's kind of if... Mm, I don't know what he might have. But let's see if we could pop off. We have an Ash. We have a Revealer. It's the perfect hand. And we have a Medallion as well. So we're gonna start with normal summoning Revealer. Is it gonna ask him anything? It is. Does he activate his trap card? No. Okay. Discard a card. So we get at least we get Mirror Mage off. Activate Impermanence. That's fine. We're not going to be able to special summon Gorgeous. But we are because we have Medallion. Mirror Mage's effect still pops off. That's fine. Yep. We are going to get General Wayne to our hand. General Wayne, before you activate, I'm going to Medallion Gorgeous. Yes, please. Oh, fucking hell. Oh. I threw. I threw these shades. I can't see the bubbles, bro. No. No way I did that. I fucked myself. He must think I'm stupid. He's like, bro, why did you just play your spell card there? Now, as much as I would like wins, I think I'm going to need Baron Medallion again after that. Thankfully... Medallion isn't once per turn. We don't talk about that. Yeah, we, we do not talk about that. That was something else. Uh, well, who do we have in the graveyard? Okay, cool. I can still make this work. So we're gonna... We're gonna do this. Do you have anything to negate my hand effects? Or is it something else? Hmm, okay. Activate gorgeous effect. It's gonna ask him again. Imperm. I mean, if you just let me get my Mirror Mage out from the graveyard. Two Imperms though, that's crazy. That's fine. At least we know his hand is uh, not that great. I always end up with this dilemma. Do we go Lancia or do we go Baron de Fleur? Because Baron de Fleur is so strong. It could interrupt him from next playing next turn as well. I could destroy a monster. He has two cards in his hand. But I feel like Lancia is the obvious play here. Mainly because of his effects, his Trishula Zero effects, his Summon effects. Etc. Etc. I know that's Marin says. We're gonna go into battle phase, and then with General Wayne attack his punk. Off to the graveyard you go, and we launch your direct attack. And it's looking like a disconnect. No. Hey yo, I love your icon with the Sakura flowers. I want that. Is that new? Oh, there we go. Uh, Ash Blossom. This is where he gives up. Surrenders. Watch. Watch this. Oh wait, never mind. Oh, he's showing me his hand. Well, that's nice because now my Lance here gets to activate. And you have no cards in your hand. Because when General Raiho comes to the field, you are going to be negated of everything you own. Do you know what that means? And now you're going to Synchro. Right? He's going to Synchro. And I'm going to change battle position of his Synchro monster. And then it's bada boom, bada bing. Get your ass off the screen. Toto Kai Sensei is in the building. Yeah, these, these shades bring out my alter ego. Let's let's not talk about that. 
Funk Jam Dragon Drive. Guess what? You can't activate, but you pay cost. You did not read my right hole. You did not read my right hole. Unfortunate for you. And I'm also going to bring out Gorgeous so you don't activate effects from the graveyard either. Oh, I love this deck, man. I absolutely adore this deck. And you know what's worse? I'm going to bring out Gorgeous. Right, right, right. Face up attack position. Right. Change the battle position of his monster. Right. That's not going to activate. Apparently, it's going to activate. But that's not going to activate. And then Gorgeous is going to special summon. You can't activate any effects. My guy. No. Stop. Thank you. Have a nice. Gorgeous. Special summon my Mirror Mage, please. Ooh, Revealer or Mirror Mage? Yeah, fuck it. We got Revealer. How much attack did you have? 1700. I mean, I know with Mirror Mage we could have done more. This guy, he, he's like just pressing buttons at the moment. Yeah, there we go. Okay, he's like, fuck it, I can't do anything. I'm out. The moment you have no cards in hand and there's Raiho on the field, you Raiho's bitch. Let's go. Let's go, baby. After one more win, plat one, let's keep going. We keep going till the show win. We win coin toss like this. And then we go first. And then we win games. And you give me a good hand. Konami, please. Beautiful hand, Konami. Main phase one. Uh, special summon revealer. Yes, yes. The only problem is... I don't have... Mirror Mage. I don't have Mirror Mage, but we're going to special summon Gorgeous in face-up attack. And then Gorgeous is going to special summon uh, Speaker. Because why the fuck not? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We're going to go straight into Lance here. Now, I could have used Medallion first. Got Mirror Mage, and then use Gorgeous's effect to bring out Mirror Mage. Oh wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. We're still popping. I'm gonna special summon itself. And then from here, we are gonna go to Aubergine. I should have Medallion before I played Gorgeous. Cross out Designator, we're gonna set. And then we will end turn and hope for the best against our opponent. He's like, hmm. How does one play this? Well, I tell you how one plays this. You don't. This is my plat one game, baby. This is where we win. Ooh, Telemans. I need Gorgeous on the field ASAP. I need Gorgeous on the field ASAP. I need him to special summon as soon as possible. Now, the question is Raiho or Gorgeous? Now, Raiho is... Kaleido Heart. Okay. So, we get that off. I'm going to activate Lancia because he's going to get rid of Lancia and I'm not going to be able to activate uh, its effect. I chain blocked myself. But the thing is, it's all Gucci. Oh no, if it leaves the field, but does it leave the field? Is the question. I'm going to bring out Raiho either way. Let's make that defense position at least. Get Raiho to activate. So he has to discard a card from his hand. Which might actually benefit him. Okay, Foolish Burial. Yeah, he sent it back. Ah, oh, Tillman's Keshtira. Now we use Overgene, so we destroy his Keshtira monster as well. Yes, please. Banish that. So we can't attack my Raiho at least. And he would also have to activate uh, discard a card from his hand. And he's not going to do that, so... Because he knows he can't activate any more effects. Like this one. It's a good game, this is a good game. His, uh, the fact that it bounces Lancia back to the extra deck is Lancia's weakness. I should have destroyed, probably, the monster on the field in the beginning. But I didn't know who I was up against. Well, I did. I lie. Okay, so we can't get rid of Raiho. So that's fine. But he's going to special summon into something, I guess. Oh no! Okay, we can still win because I have Medallion and Ice Jade. Yeah, we Medallion into Mirror Mage because we're going to discard Mirror Mage with Ice Jade, which is going to enable us to get 
Lance here and activate Mirror Mage's effect in the graveyard as well. Here we go. There's the token. Yep. And then activate Mirror Mage's effect in the graveyard. We are going to get... He has no cards in his hands. Raiho is going to stay on the field. Yeah, we got gorgeous here. 100% so I could summon out more from the graveyard. So we're going to go into Lance here once again. Which means we could actually destroy uh, the tier elements with our attack. Summon Gorgeous onto the field. Activate effect again. Yes, please. Nah, 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 nah. Mirror Mage isn't going to do much. We're going to go Revealer here. We don't have anything to activate Revealer's effect. So from here, we're just going to special summon into Baron de Fleur. Cheng Ying, maybe. We're going to go with Cheng Ying instead. It says if this card is sent to the graveyard. So if we don't send it to the graveyard and we banish it, so here we're going to banish our revealer to activate its effect because we're not going to send it to the graveyard. We're going to send it straight to the banishment zone. So, so yes, activate Cheng Ying, which is going to banish the, ka the ka Kaleido Heart. Yeah, the Kaleido Heart and also its tier limit cards from the graveyard, which opens us to a one turn kill. GG, have a nice. We are now plat one, baby. Let's go. This is how you beat a tier limits with an ice barrier deck. OG.com. Have a nice day. Goodbye. Bada boom, bada bing. Let's go. Tier limits, you stand no chance. So let's keep going. Plat one. Today we're reaching Diamond 5. We've got the purple border for Diamond as well. Mr. Abdel DZ. Boom. Win the coin toss. Let's go. Going first. Why is it that every single time that I go first, I get a, such a good second hand, like second turn hand? We're going to medallion into Revealer. He didn't ask him, so he doesn't have an Ash. He doesn't have a... We're going to find out if he has an Imperm now. So we normal summon Revealer. Activate effect. We get to send Mirror Mage. And does he have Imperm? Maxi. Ooh. But Maxi is going to get Ash Seed. So, yep. There we go. You guys know the drill by now. Activate Mirror Mage effect. We're going to get Wayne. We have the perfect board for this turn. Assuming, assuming that he has nothing to interrupt us with. Winds of the Ice Barrier. We're going to send General Wayne to get Spellbreaker. And finish with the perfect board. He can't activate spells. I have no idea what card he's using, what deck he's using. Not being able to activate spells is kind of shit fest. So, there we go. End of turn. Let's see what he's playing. This is the point where he notices he can't play spell cards. And he's like, huh? What the fuck's going on? That's, that's when they take this long. Yep, yeah, look, look, watch this. See? <laughs> nice. Let's go. We draw Ice Jade Run Orgerine. Is looking good, bread. And then we activate Winds' effect to get a card from the graveyard to the hand. Now, Revealer is a good option. But I also want Gorgeous so I could actually special summon him as well. Nah, I, I played wrong. I was meant to get Mirror Mage, then ditch Mirror Mage like I did last game. I could have played Revealer. I could have done so much with that instead. So instead, I'm just going to use Ice Jade Orgerine. Discard Gorgeous. So we're just going to go to Orgerine. I kind of misplayed here. Could have been much more efficient with the plays that we went with. Next turn, they are actually going to be able to play. Um, let's see. Could have been game over this turn. We're taking a risk now. Let's see. Hopefully, we still win. But it was a pointless risk. There we go. Gear Town. I just need to lock him out. That's what I need to do now. Like, it, it, would have, it was an easy game, and I made it harder for myself. Ancient Gear Catapult. Hold on a second. We're going to draw that so he doesn't get any more cards to his hand. Called by. Okay. Yeah, fuck it. I'm not, I'm not having him draw more cards. We cross out. Called by. Make sure that I don't fuck up my own... Um, called by but that i only have one in the hand anyway so that should negate nice and then draw and lock bird activate so we can't get any more cards into his hand 
You don't want to do that. Oh, he's destroying his own monster. Okay. He destroyed his own field spell. Okay, I thought he was going to go with Lancia. If he went with Lancia, we would have popped off. Ancient Gear Golem. He's coming onto the field. He still has a normal summon. Keep that in mind. Yes, please. I need Raiho on the field as soon as possible. Raiho, where you at? There you are. In defense. Now discard a card from your hand, please. You're thinking too much, Mr. Abdel. He's thinking now because he doesn't want to get rid of the cards in his hand. Now, I don't think I'm going to do that. But I want to play Ice Jade instead. And destroy this monster. Banish a card. Yep, banish his card. Because I think he was trying to go... Yeah. Not only is his card banished, but now he has to discard if he wants to play it. And if he does play it... There we go. That should have interrupted him somewhat because I think he needed this card. I think he was trying to get all three cards out. There we go. This is the card that I want to lance here. And then we're going to bring out... Yeah, we're definitely going Defender with this one. We played that nicely. We played that nicely. So now he can't attack with anything over 1,600. Uh, he can't activate effects because the more he keeps doing this, the more he's going to fuck up. Okay. Oh, is that another ancient gear golem? Well, he still can't attack. And ancient gear golem's biggest thing is to attack, right? Yeah. Okay, that's fine. You can target one and then grab some that card. And if you do... Oh, fucking hell. Come on, man. Wait, you can't activate that though, can you? Goddamn. Predator plant. You have no cards in your hand anymore. You have no cards in your hand anymore. Brother, it's not gonna work. This is where he surrenders. Yep, thank you. Anything you do from this point on, it's not going to work. When Raiho is on the field, there we go. And your boy is now plat 1. No, wait. I was already plat 1. Your boy is now closer to diamond. We're on a win streak. That could have been an easier game, by the way. But what are all these decks now? I think all the Tempai, all the good players played all their Tempai cards and got to like diamond and master. And now we're left with like Gear Town. Um, who else did I play? Well, Telemans is a good deck, but you know. Okay, give me a good hand. Nice, we have Droll and Lockbird, and that's about it for our interrupts. Our hand is looking good. Who are we playing against? Notorious. Ooh, okie dokie, not bad. They have a lot of graveyard effects, I am guessing, because I, I haven't played against Notorious, so I don't really know what they're doing. Turia Sunflower. Um, yeah, we draw on lock. Brother, uh. Brother, uh. Oh, no, Spellbreaker. That was the worst draw that I could have had. Wait, no, I'm going turn two. So, first things first, Revealer. I haven't read this card, by the way. If you would tribute a monster's effect. Yeah. Maxi? Sure. Gonna carry on. So I'm gonna discard. I don't care. I, I'm gonna try and end this turn. So oh, fuck off. Let me play. He keeps doing stuff and then special summoning cards. Okay, good for you. Now you have three of them. Sure. Special summon. Gorgeous. Activate this effect. Now the only problem is, he's not going to be able to activate his effect though. Because I uh, reveal is in the field. So that's fine. I'm going to go Wayne. Now, I'm going to special summon Spellbreaker onto the field.
Wait, can he still activate? Is it just monsters? Your opponent cannot activate the effects of monsters. Ah, okay. That's fine. Just keep drawing cards. It's fine. Um, and then we're going to activate General Wayne's effect. He could draw all the cards he wants. I want to go for the kill. That's what I want to do. So Trish Zero is going to come out. Not anymore. If I could have got a Trish Zero out, that would have been really goaded. I'm going to go with my turn one board because he has a lot of cards in his hand and I need to lock him out, basically. That's what we're looking at. Oh, wait. 5 plus 4 is 9, 10, 11. gonna banish three cards so that's gonna be one two three yep and then we're gonna activate speaker of the ice barrier i think i have game here and then gorgeous as well this should enable me to go into baron nope apparently not uh baron the flow would have been nice wait can i banish no oh wait i can i can hold on hold on hold on hold on we go into Cheng Ying. And then we banish a Speaker from the graveyard. Hopefully this has no destroy effects. So we're going to banish this. And then banish one of his sacred trees. Thank you. And then with that, go to battle phase. He has a fuck ton of cards in his hand. Hopefully none of them stop my attack. Nope, we win. Okay, game. Nice. Oh, wait, no. Yep, there we go. Woo! Ice barriers, baby! I need two more wins till I'm diamond fire, baby. He's winning, you'll gain a rank. And he gets the coin toss as well. This is bad. I'm going first. Motherfucker! Why you give me this hand, man? Where's the revealer? Where's the medallion? This is gonna be a rough start. Activate. Gorgeous. We don't want to activate his effect because he has nothing to activate anyway. We're going to go straight into Lance here. Freezing Chains. Bring back Spellbreaker. Yep. Activate Spellbreaker's effect. Send Gorgeous to the graveyard. And then we have an Ash in hand and a Lance here on the field. And that's board one. Let's go. Show me what you got, Vanira. Show me what you got. I'm in the zone today, baby. I'm getting to diamond today. Tenpai, I knew it. I had a feeling. I had a feeling. Ooh, ooh, that we're gonna win this again. Bro, the moment you start doing stuff. The moment you start doing stuff. Because you ain't got Sangen summoning. You ain't got anything. The moment you special summon. You know what's happening? Defenders coming out onto the field. Defenders coming out onto the field. There's Sang and Kaimen. Oh wait. I can't. Is it only in the main phase? Except during the damage step. Ooh. Now, this doesn't have an effect, so. Oh, it does. But it's not during damage step now. So if he special summons. There we go. He goes into Biden Dragon. That's cool. And now I activate Lance here. Yes, please. No, we don't Ash Blossom my own Lance here. The defender, 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 defender. And then change the battle position of Biden Dragon. He's only had two attacks so far. And he's not going to be able to attack now. But even if he does, yep. There we go. There we go. That's how you beat Tenpai in three turns, bro. In three turns. That's not even three turns. I meant like with three cards. Tenpai, my ass. Get out of here. Get the diamond playing against someone else. 
Man thought he was slick playing Tenpai. Look at my win streak, bro. Look at my win streak. What do you think this is? This is my realm. This is, I am Seto Kai Sensei. Sit the fuck down. And we win coin toss as well. Come on, Konami. Bless us with the perfect hand to get us the diamond. Come on, bro. Boom. Revealer. Spellbreaker's a bit eh. But it is what it is. We have Imperman Forbidden in our hand as well. That's absolutely fine. We're going to reveal her. He's going to max C. Yep. I am going to absolutely do nothing about that. We're going to have to play what we're playing. It doesn't matter. If I discard Spellbreaker, let's summon Hexer. Oh, he's going to draw so many cards. Because I have to take the long way round. But as long as I get my end board, it's all good. If he doesn't top Ash as well, if he tops Ash, ah oh shit, oh fuck, okay, that's bad, that's hella bad. Did you just top Frame Gear? No, 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 bro. All you had to do was give me a good hand. Just give me a good hand and I would have gotten to diamond. Let's see, if we're not playing against something stupid, we still have a chance to win. Bro, what is this guy's luck? Oh? Oh! I have been blessed with a second chance. What's going on? And I pull Harkies. Brother. Now, we're gonna try that again. Discord Revealer. Bro, fuck off, man. What is this? Your hand's full of hand traps. Now I can't even play anything. You know what? Fuck it. Battle phase. He's bricked as well. What? What is all these interrupts, man? <sighs> Just let me get Lance here. Okay, I got Harpies for that. Nice. Cool. I don't know if he's bricking so hard. We'll check the deck list. Nah, brother. I'm gonna Harpies, right? Get rid of that shit because I know that's gonna stop my Revealer from activating. Get rid of that. What the fuck was that? Forbidden Droplet. I thought so. Activate Revealer, please. This time, it's going through. We're gonna get rid of... We're keeping the Ash in the hand. Now, fuck you. I swear to God. I swear to God. Bro, just... Does he just have hand traps in his hand? Now the problem is I've wasted so many cards. And if I don't pull like a good card next turn, it's pretty much like he could just switch the game around if he pulls something he needs. Now the good thing is I have an Ash in my hand. If I could just get this for- Oh, there we go. That's what he was looking for. And I'm gonna Ash that shit. Fuck off. You think all your interrupts did something for me? I'm going to do it back to you. How does it feel? End your turn. It's a Tempai deck. Come on, heart of the cards, heart of the cards, heart of the cards. Gorgeous, please. Medallion, please. General Wayne. What's the chances of this going through? Okay, it's not asking him now. Yeah, I could bring out wins. And I think that's actually game, you know. I don't even have to do anything. I actually got it to pop off. There we go. This this has been the weirdest diamond rank up game. Unless he has like battle fader or some shit. Then I'm going to be pissed. We'll get wins just in case. Yes. Let's go, man. I beat two Tempai decks. He bricked and interrupted a lot. Let's check his fucking... Wait, wait, wait. Hold on, hold on. Just, just let that sink in. Let that sink in. Let the Ice Barrier Diamond 5 sink in. 21 gun salute. Press F to pay respects. All of that. Now what the fuck kind of deck did you have? You had a Tempai deck. 
Okay, but you had... You bricked so hard. He... He literally pulled the worst hand he could have pulled. And so did I. He pulled a heavy storm. He pulled a Psy frame gear, that's two. He had a max C, that's three. An effect veiler, that's four. And I don't know what his last card was. A forbidden droplet, that's five. Konami just blessed us, luckily. Our screen is now purple, season 34, diamond five with ice barriers. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Stay tuned, make sure to subscribe. Why aren't you guys subscribing? And take care everyone, peace out. Draw the line.